Okay, so last video here, and the last bit of information that you need. Consider the infinite sequence, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, dot, 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 a sub i. The sum of the first n terms of the sequence is called a finite series, which is also sometimes referred to as the nth partial sum of the sequence. Okay, so again, if we're saying add up all the terms from 1, a sub 1, all the way up to some a sub n, some ending point, you're just adding up from 1 to n of a sub i. Okay, but if the sum of all terms, not but, the second situation, the sum of all the terms in the infinite sequence is called the infinite series if there's no end to um, the sequence that you're looking at. So a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus some a sub i, but then it keeps going. Your lower limit is 1, the upper is infinity, because you're not stopping. And again, it's of that a sub i term, whatever we're looking at. Okay, so what are the, here's an example of what these problems will actually look at. So, number 6, our last one, a and b. So for the series, your lower limit's 1, your upper is infinity of 7 over 10 to the i. So if I asked you to find the second partial sum, so... This is an example of the first situation. It's, a, it's finite. We're only doing the second partial sum, so that's only the first and second terms. Pretty straightforward. So we're looking at the summation of i equals 1, and we're going to 2, and it's 7 over 10i. Okay, so that's really just 7 over. So when I put 1 in, that's going to be 7 tenths plus 7 over. When I put 2 in, that's 10 squared, which is 100. And that's going to be 0.77. Okay, wonderful. That's it. Now, what if I asked you for the sum of the series? So that means the infinite, an infinite series. So it's not, uh, the sequence is not ending here. All right, so that's really saying the summation of i equals 1 to infinity of 7 over 10 to the i. So just to have us, so first term we know is 7 tenths. Second term we know is 7 over 100. Uh, the third term, just to give us some visuals here, is 7 over 1,000. This is a good strategy you can use to try to figure out the answer because no way are we looking for you to sit here and add up numbers forever. Actually, that's not even possible. Um, anyway, so we have 7 over 10,000. So if we keep adding these, first of all, look over here. The second partial sum, right, was 0.77. So if we had another one plus 7 over 1,000, that would be 0.777, plus another one would be 0.47s, plus, I mean, this is just going to keep going on and on and on. So think for a minute, again, these are kind of thinking problems, this is more for you to see a pattern that's going on. What's this actually going to eventually converge into? It's 7 ninths. Like we said, when we added these two together, you had 0.77. And then if we added these three together, you'd have 0.777. And if we had this one, 0.7777. So what's going on? 7 ninths, that's 0.7 repeating forever. So again, these this will usually be a fraction um, of some sort when you're given one like that. Um, and it, again, I know some of you might not like this because there's no like hard formula to follow. You have to think a little bit, but we'll get through this just like we've gotten through everything else.